the game we'll be looking at today is going to be NBA 2K22 Gameplay News. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new shooting mechanics and also the new shot meter that comes with 2K22. We're going to be looking at footage and developer notes to take a deep dive in on these elements. And also, make sure to like and subscribe for the best 2K20 tutorials all season. I guarantee I'll help you improve your game during launch. So here you can see the footage that is released and this is 2K22 footage. And there you see is the brand new shot meter right there. And if you take a deep look at it, it's actually much bigger than normal and there's also a new element in play and that's what 2K is calling the dynamic make window. So here are the dev notes on shooting in regards to the new changes made to 2K22 and we can take a look at exactly what this dynamic window is. Like what's happening now is that there's a new shot meter with a dynamically resizing make window and this window's size is going to change depending if you're taking on high quality shots with good shooters that's going to increase it but it will also shrink when you're taking heavily contested shots shooting with a low rated shooter who is also tired so that means uh the mig window is now going to change in size depending on shot quality so going by what we do know about the shot meter from previous game and shout out to uh, toasted underscore six from twitter on uh, making this blow up of the shot meter we all know that if the shot meter doesn't fill up the white like it was shooting below the yellow and the perfect green window the shot like never goes in and then there's that early and late release zone where is that yellow window and then right in the middle of that yellow window is that perfect release zone where if you know if you get the perfect release you get a green and it always goes in so it sounds like 2k is making a pretty big change here where it seems like the make window is going to decrease and increase in size based on shot quality, right? Now they didn't specify does the make window stand for that perfect release zone or that early to late release zone. I am leaning on the end that I think the make window is going to be on the early and late release zone. So the green window likely stays the same or we won't see any dramatic increase by that dynamic window but I feel like it's that early and late release zone that's going to change. So the higher quality the shot, the more likely someone can get at least a decent release out of it. And obviously if you're skilled, you're going to get that perfect release. But if you take a really low quality shot, I think that yellow window is going to shrink to a point where like you're not going to make the shot unless it's a green. If it's implemented that way, I actually like that idea a lot because that's a really good way to reflect or reward a user for, you know, having high shot IQ. And if we go back to the dev notes right here, you can actually see they do talk about that where they feel like previous year's games, shot IQ isn't being rewarded properly. So now they're going to give a bigger make window for people with higher shot selection IQ. So essentially, high quality shots are getting boosted in a way. And bad quality shots is going to get smaller dynamic windows. So you're going to get punished for taking bad shots. So this is no longer really heavily reliant on like previous year where it's like rating and stick skills, right? Because you, if you take a good quality shot in previous years, you just get to, you know, not feel pressure as a user and get into a rhythm and time your shot. And if you take a really bad quality shot, you can still probably do decently well if you have crazy timing. But this year, it feels like if you take a good quality shot, you're not only going to be rewarded by the lack of pressure from the defense, you're actually going to get an in-game mechanic that rewards you by boosting your make window. And it does feel like these things are probably going to be pretty significant during launch because 2K really wants to implement this. They seem very proud of uh, these new changes and the kind of effectiveness that it does have, at least during the testing phase. So it does feel like this is going to be a big element in all of the shooting that we're going to do in this game. Like we're all going to shoot tens and thousands of shots, but this make window is now going to be constantly there in the background. And the only way for us to really take advantage of it is, is to take high quality shots and avoid bad quality shots. So I think this is going to carry it over really well to probably all the game modes. We'll see the execution of it during launch. And uh, as always, make sure the subscribe so that i can give you the best shooting tutorials during launch best playable tutorials and also best mechanic everything right i do what i do so as always thanks for coming by and i look forward to speak to you guys again very soon